Hello you guys, so the trendy variation are being played by the top GMs and which is happening in the Karakhan defense and the name is the fantasy variation. So today we will learn how to employ the fantasy variation successfully. So we will play the normal Karakhan with e4, c6, d4 and d5. Now there are many ways to play the Karakhan. You can play e5 here, you can play knight to c3 or knight to d2 or even you can exchange the pawns. But the fantasy variation occurs after f3. Now f3 looks like a peculiar move because you are using the king side pawn but it is alright as it is strengthening the center. Now before jumping to the theory that what is good and what is bad for the both sides always look after queen h4 check because this is the most common blunder in this fantasy variation. So beware. Now let's talk about the natural responses from black. Now it is not best to take the central pawn with d takes e4 and f takes e4. Yes you can attack the strong center with e5 but you can play knight to f3. And if you try to uh, have more pressure on this d4 pawn by playing bishop to g4, you can just strengthen it with c3. If you try to attack the e4 pawn with knight to f6, you can just play bishop to c4 and if you just try to grab the e4 pawn, just bishop takes f7, king takes and knight e5 and you are gaining a good position after queen takes g4. Now let's talk about what is best for black here. So the best for black here is to play e6 here. So what e6 do is actually strengthening the center, opening the scope of the dark square bishop and opening the scope of a queen here. So let's see if you play, if you are a fierce player and you play c4 here, this is actually a blunder. As I said earlier, I always look for queen to h4 here. So after d takes e4 and f takes e4, just queen to h4 check. You can't play g3 here because of, you'll, you'll lose a rook here. So you have to play uh, king to d2 here and queen takes e4 and black is having a great play here. So the same goes with c3 as you will allow the queen h4 checks after pawn takes pawn takes and check and you will also lose a pawn here. So let's talk about the popular responses from white here. So there are mainly two popular responses. One is to play bishop to d3 here where you actually sacrifice the pawn on d4 for a rapid development here. And the other one is to play knight to c3 here so knight to c3 is actually the most popular line here being played by gukesh and many other top gm so again the knight to c3 black can do many things here the most popular is to play bishop to b4 here you can play knight to d7 too and you can play any move which is not a blunder so let's just talk about the most popular bishop to b4 here so bishop to b4 indirectly pressures the e4 pawn here so somewhat variation the queen h4 can occur here. So here best reply for white is to play bishop to d2 here. Now you can actually sacrifice a pawn here and gain a immensely good advantage for white here. If black plays bishop takes and you takes with the bishop here and if he takes with the pawn keep in mind doesn't take the pawn back because of queen to h4 you have to play knight to h3 here because if he takes the pawn on f3 you're gaining a winning advantage after pawn takes queen takes and let's say if you play knight to f6 you have you will play bishop to d3 castles and castles and with the price of one pawn your error pieces are in good square and you are having a plus 1.2 advantage so after bishop to d2 the best response for black is to actually play knight g7 now for white it is to go h4 here as we are expecting the knight to go to g6 here so why not play h5 and kick it away so this is how to play a uh, fantasy variation with bishop to b4 line now we will talk about the very tricky line of bishop to d3 here now with bishop d3 you are actually sacrificing a pawn on d4 with d takes e4, f takes e4 and queen takes d4 here. 
but it is for the rapid development and black can screw very quickly if he is not aware of it. With after knight f3, if he plays queen back to d8, so you will just castles and the most natural looking move, bishop to c5 is actually a blunder. After king h1, let's say if you try to play knight to f6 here, which is not good because e5 will occur. So here he will play knight g7 here and you will just punish the move with knight to g5 here. Now castle is out of book because if you just try to castle just queen to h5 here and how you are able to defend the position here. This is, this is just completely lost here. So after this you have to push f6 here. So here is a very uh, good continuation with queen to h5, g6 and queen to h6 sacrificing the whole knight with f takes g5 and bishop takes g5 and believe it or not this is a plus 3 advantage for white here and you can make it a repertoire or you can just study it more so this was me for the fantasy variation if you like the video do like and subscribe the channel and see you soon out